Time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105 Won the Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning. Hey, good, good morning, morning guys. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. All right, the yeah. halftime show. We, we won it. halftime show. It's almost here. We're almost done waiting. I can't what do wait. we know? I'm so excited. And they're doing the whole press thing right now where they're getting us all hyped for it. And they sat down, did an interview yesterday. And Dr. Dre said that there will be surprises because he was asked that question directly. Now, he didn't specify surprise guests. But I mean, what else could the surprise be? Yeah. We're expecting fireworks. We're expecting confetti. It's got to be somebody joining them out on stage. I would not consider confetti a surprise. If they were like, guys, we threw <laughs> no. confetti. I would like, no, that doesn't count. <laughs> that would so, be, yeah. that'd be so sad. I hope it's somebody. Who do you guys think would, would make a surprise appearance? You know, I think it's going to be Jay-Z because Jay-Z is mm -hmm. the person that mm -hmm. orchestrated this whole halftime show and he's not included in the five performers. And I feel like it'll be like, oh, here comes Jay-Z, which I don't think would be a surprise because we would see it coming. But I really feel in my soul that's what's going to happen. I didn't yeah. know Jay-Z organized this. I thought I thought Dre did. Uh, yeah, I thought it was all Dre. Well, Dre is actually fronting the money for this particular halftime show. But a few years ago, the NFL teamed up with Jay-Z and Rock Nation to curate the halftime shows, oh. which I believe last year's with The Weeknd was the first year that Jay-Z was actually behind it. Mm. But if we're talking surprises, they, they book this to be an homage to West Coast hip hop. There is no way Dr. Dre does not come out with MC Ren and Ice Cube. Put Easy E on the big screen and mm. do a little NWA. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. That would be that would be pretty that. good. Yeah. Jay-Z is you know East what? Coast guy too. Little so Tupac I don't know if that hologram, plays a maybe, yeah. you mm -hmm. know. You know what would be a surprise? Martha Stewart coming out during it. Ooh, That's a surprise. Martha. Yeah. Well, Martha and Snoop. They are BFs now. Just, they don't leave home without dancing. each other. Yeah. yeah. That would be fun. She could be a she could be a little backup dancer. That would be that would be a really good one. That'd I don't know. Really it's it's going to be a great show. I'm just I'm excited that finally we have rap and hip hop taking center stage. Yeah. It's long overdue yeah. Yeah. to be the focus well, of a halftime show. Yeah. We we do know that none of the surprises will be Eminem wardrobe malfunctions. Uh, Dr. Dre did promise us that during that interview yesterday. Okay. Well, and well, it, it, he's putting the insurance bill if that does happen. <laughs> so uh, we can only <laughs> yeah. hope. That's good to know. <laughs> That's good to know. Okay, uh, uh, so switching gears mm -hmm. here, uh, one of my favorite actresses growing up, Kirsten Dunst, uh, says that she was dissed by another actress. Who? Spill the tea. <laughs> Yes, I wish she had spilled the tea a little bit more, but she did a podcast and said, you know, the movie Bring It On has had so much success. You know, it was on ABC Family like every weekend. We all know the different cheers in it and that she should always have like a positive feeling when it comes to it. But one time she was somewhere and another actress, she overheard her say, well, at least I wasn't in a dumb cheerleader movie. And she said, out of all the positive things that have happened with that movie, that one little negative thing is the thing that sticks with her Aww. that she always thinks about. And I feel like that's so relatable because no matter how good you do at something, there's always going to be that that little thing that tears you down. Yeah. And she's just like us where it eats away at her. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, I mean, first of all, she still wins the day, right? Because she can laugh all the way to the bank with those bring it on checks. I'm sure there's are still coming in. Oh, she's still getting residual. Yeah. Sure. And then on top of that, like it's a, it's a, I was going to say cult classic, but maybe it just goes down as a classic. Like just that's, a, classic. A, that's yeah. a staple yeah. of that age. Like she wins. That she wins. very much like <laughs> a comment made out of jealousy. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. She's yeah. nominated for an Oscar right now. Like, she's doing just, she's doing just fine. fine. Right, mm -hmm. right. She's been in, I mean, it's probably not literally a million movies, but at least 900,000 movies. Like, she's <laughs> had a very successful career from Definitely. a very young age in Jumanji all right. the way up to that movie she's in now. Yeah. People forget about Jumanji. That's what I'm saying. She was in so much stuff. Mm -hmm. I loved her growing up, and she's still killing it. Movie. So, yeah. And bringing mm -hmm. on is nothing to be ashamed of, okay? We've I all agree. done things in our careers that we should be ashamed of. My roommate likes to break out one of my first radio demos that I ever did, <laughs> which is terrifying. <laughs> oh. He can, played can it for our Can your roommate boss. send that to us, that please? That would be great. No, we would love to get a copy of that Absolutely not. Game. It is it's on actually... CD. I don't think you guys have the equipment to play it. Oh, it's man. pretty on job par. for our investigative team. It we're going to really put them on does. it. Uh, I wish we had more time, but we're getting the wrap. We're running out. We, uh, guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl and the halftime show. We're obviously going to have to talk about it we'll on Monday. We'll see you back on Monday. <laughs> Bye, friends. All right. You can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. We'll